the war in Afghanistan is critical to our national interests. The problem is that part of the war is in Afghanistan where we have American and NATO troops, but the other part is in Pakistan where Al-Qaeda and the Taliban rest, recuperate, and train, and you can't send NATO and U.S. troops in there. So the challenge for the next president is how to get it right. Now, every commander on the ground says, going back to your question, you can't win militarily in a pure, simple sense of eliminating the Taliban. It just won't work in that distant and difficult terrain. So if you can carve the Taliban up into two groups, the reconcilables and the irreconcilables, and bring the reconcilables into the political process and cut down the Taliban strength, that would be a tremendous step forward. Everyone has said this. This was not an issue in the presidential campaign. The U.S. military commanders have said it. Karzai has said it himself. But making it happen is difficult. One last point on this. When I was in Kabul uh, in Afghanistan a few months ago, I went down to the province of Kust on the Pakistan border, and I talked to five Taliban defectors in a very interesting group, because there is a program for defectors. And they said there were many other Taliban who would willingly give up their arms if they could have some land and some money to set themselves up. That program exists only on paper. It isn't being implemented. That's the kind of thing that can be done in Afghanistan. From a, a new war on terror to the old traditional Cold War, it seems that Russia is reasserting itself on the world stage. Is it possible that we sort of have overlooked old potential problem areas, and should the Obama administration look back to them? I think the Russian invasion of Georgia on August 8th of this year, opening day of the Olympics, was a major event in the international structure, and it changed the terrain everywhere. The Russians hadn't sent troops out of their own country on a military expedition since they had invaded Afghanistan in 1979. That was 30 years ago. That was the Soviet Union. So what they did in Georgia kind of broke the post-Cold War rules. It changes the terrain everywhere. The next administration is going to have to sit down with the Russians and say, hey, we don't want a new Cold War, but we are not going to look the other way on Georgia. During the campaign, Senator Obama was extremely clear on this. No Cold War and no uh, saying, go ahead and invade Georgia, take Ossetia and Abkhazia and annex them. He said that's unacceptable. So we have the parameters of the policy, but once again, it's like a picture frame for a new picture. The picture now is to be filled in by the president and his administration, not now, but after January 20th. And this is one of the major issues, and it changes the terrain everywhere else, Martin. It affects energy security, climate change, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, NATO. It, it, it is a very big issue how to deal with Russia.